Hello, good morning guys. So now I want to show you and share something about my uh, solar pan setup. So as you can see right now, this is my very first uh, solar pan that is, uh, I, I believe it's like a commercial scale. commercial in the sense that I will use it to supply the solar for my catfish so this is the first one so as you can see the solar are quite healthy but not so green I believe because the nutrients in here are already depleted so the water that I put here is the wastewater from my fish pond my catfish pond so as you can see they're quite yellowish now because I have harvested lots of asola here then the water is not yet replenished that much so the nutrients I believe are depleted so this is the second pond similarly it's quite yellowish so it's been almost two weeks now but I haven't changed the water but I already refilled it with uh, new wastewater from the pond so let's wait for it to become or turn to be more green after some time let's observe because this is my first time to cultivate in this scale a solar I already experimented only experimented a small pan before this pans so currently I have five pans that I have set up so this one is quite green this is really green because I haven't harvested any from here so this is the first uh, boom that has filled up the pan so still the nutrients are sufficient for the solar plants this is another one this is the port so it's almost yellowish now so I believe we need to put some pond water eventually to make it more healthier as well so what I'm going to show you is right here is my third pond the third that I have set up so you can see most of the solas are dead So I'm figuring out what's the problem. I thought it was overheating. The water is overheating. That's why the asola died. But by observing the other pond, similar location, it's not the case. It's healthy. But here it's quite dead. So I'm, I'm supposing that the wastewater that I put here is not sufficient with nutrients because I recycled and shared the water from the other pan from the other asola pan I take half of it and put it here so I believe it's not sufficient so eventually they use up all the nutrients then after that they start to die as you can see most of the asolas are black what you can see as the green ones are the dark weeds which survived the lack of nutrients and that's all uh, I believe needs more nutrients that's why they died first and after the solar died the duck weeds start to grow but eventually I will change this whole setup with water and refill it with a solar because I cannot wait for this to uh, grow more duckweeds because duckweeds 
I believe it's not that big in volume when you grow them because the leaves are so tiny so I want a sola more than the duckweeds so I will refill again this tub this pool or pan with new water new wastewater from the ponds so I can cultivate again a sola in here because the catfish actually loves the sola so they are consuming more than a kilo I believe every day my breeders consume maybe more than half a kilo then the small ones consume less than half a kilo every day so if my catfish becomes more and the fingerlings becomes more bigger then they will consume more so we need this solar pans to save cost for the feeds so this is my update so by the way this solar pan is designed by me I constructed this I also um, do and made the tarpaulin in this structure and I made the braces, the brackets, support to be inserted on the sides. It's easier for me to set up in this way and not put any wall. I just have to put support on the bars and it's easier this way. You can set this up in one day actually. So that's our update for today. I hope to make more pans when the need comes because I'm also planning to sell a solar. So that's our update for today. Thank you and God bless.